I know I probably shouldn't do this. I probably uh, I got, I'm sucking a um, lifesaver. It's not good for your teeth, but anyway. Because um, back when I was in Arizona, they told me one of the things, and I was in a class, and they said, don't chew gum while you're talking. So, in fact, Dave told me that, too, when I first got here. Didn't I, Dave? I was on your show, so I, that was two people told me that. But anyway, so I'm making a, a mistake on that. But anyway, uh, regarding Damon, um, we are obviously pleased to announce that he's uh, 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 joining the staff. I've known Damon for, for many years. Uh, I did not play at Arizona with Damon. He, I, I came after him. But uh, I've stayed in contact with him through the years. Uh, when I came here to Memphis as an assistant coach, uh, obviously we've we've talked through the years about hoops and basketball and just different things. And and once Willis Wilson left to get the head job at Texas A&M Corpus Christi, uh, Damon was one of the guys I wanted to talk to and was serious about. Obviously, we, I wasn't going to get into in-depth conversations until uh, their season was done with the Grizzlies just out of respect and the right principal thing to do. So we had to wait till the Grizzlies were, were finished. Once they were finished, we, um, we, uh, uh, I was able to sit down and have uh, multiple discussions with Damon, uh, intense discussions. And uh, uh, after those opportunities to do that, it became evident and clear that he was the guy that I wanted to hire. Um, obviously, uh, I can say that we've, I felt that we've done a pretty good job of hiring good people. Uh, when you have guys like Willis Wilson getting head jobs, Glenn Cyprian uh, getting a, a great opportunity, Jack Murphy had opportunities earlier to, to pursue uh, NBA stuff, um, uh, that you're going to continue to want to, to wanna hire the, the, the right people. And, uh, and Damon will fit right into that. And uh, I want our people that are working with us to continue to, to move up and, and get continue to get great opportunities because what that shows is we're continuing to hiring uh, uh, good people. And as you know, I've said it many times, hiring is strategic. I'm not impulsive. I take my time on it. I really do my research and my homework, dot every I, cross every T, that is important to me. And uh, with Damon's experience of coaching and playing at the very highest level at the best basketball in the world. Uh, it's going to be a, he'll make an immediate impact with uh, our program, with our student athletes, and, uh, and, he'll, and he'll fit in. And I want to say this, a lot of people have asked, well, uh, what about being in the NBA uh, with the grind of college? Let me say two things. Number one, the NBA is a grind. I mean, you're, you're playing 82 games or whatever, 88 games minimum, including preseason, and then obviously you get into the playoffs. It's a grind, so you have to be, have some work ethic. You've got to have a work ethic to be able to be in the NBA. Secondly, when you're talking about Damon, uh, at his size, to do what he did to play in the NBA for 13 years and, and to be the rookie of the year, a lottery pick, score 50 points in a game, you've got to have a toughness about you. You've got to have a blue-collar work ethic about you. You've got to be a grinder. You, don't, aren't it, you are not able to accomplish those things at that level without being a grinder bottom line. So I think that answers any questions with that. What challenges do you think Damon's going to face just, just moving to college in a coaching? Uh, you know, in the end, in, in the end uh, it, it's a people's business. You're dealing with people, relationships. I think the biggest challenge for, for Damon, which he'll, and he'll pick up and it'll just be a matter of time. I mean, he's going to be thrown into kind of understanding a different landscape of the rules, uh, which he's already started. Of uh, We've sat down and gone through the stuff and uh, he'll, he'll fit in with that with no problem. Um, uh, obviously, you're, you're dealing with transcripts and academics and things that, that he wants to deal with. He understands. So uh, those are just parts of the, some different components. But in the end of all of it, it's still a people's business. I mean, you're still dealing with student athletes and recruiting. It's about people. And, um, and that's what it is. It's about people. And Damon is very even keel. And um, he has a good sense of, of people. And uh, he can relate. He can manage conflict. He has a great relationship. And here's the other thing: he he fits really well with our staff. With because uh, originally when I had Glenn Cyprian and Jack Murphy and myself after Willis left, um, you know I wanted to make sure we hired the right fit for the for chemistry as well. So once Glenn left, you know um, uh, obviously now we're having to hire two people for chemistry. So. Right now, I feel that, that again, because chemistry of staff is so important. We've had great chemistry of staff the last two years. And with Damon and Jack, it's going to continue to have that, that, that chemistry that I want. 
and um, and from there he'll do, he'll fit in. I mean that's just the thing. So he'll fit in. He'll do his job. Um, he'll work. He'll work at it. There's no issues about that. And I'm excited, and, and he's going to help us. He's going to bring something to the table to, to help us right away. What are his immediate responsibilities? I mean, you can't hand him a book and say, get to know all, you know what I mean? What, I, where I does he start with? Every one of my assistants, whether it was Jack Murphy, Willis, Glenn, it doesn't matter. And Damon's the same thing. you got to think and act like a head coach. So Damon will be responsible for coaching, for recruiting, for academics, for dealing with our student athletes, parents. It doesn't matter. He will be thrown and has, he'll be responsible to have his hand in everything. I, the assistance that I want, I don't want any specialized person. I want a person that can do it all. I want future head coaches. That's what I want. Uh, just like Willis Wilson got a head job, uh, uh, Glenn Cyprian's close to getting a head job. The job he got was like a head job. I think Jack Murphy's really close to getting a head job, and I think Damon's going to be is going to be a future head uh, coach in the college level as well too. So, and the next person I hire, I want that individual to be a to be a future head coach. So anyone I hire, they, if you're going to be a future head coach, if you're going to co be a head coach, you've got to be able to do uh, multi multitasking of all kinds of variety of responsibilities. The next hire you make, uh, you know, there seems most definitely have a balance. You know, David comes in and says, maybe I'll go for more older, established coach <laughs> the next time. Is that overvalued or overstated? You know, Glenn, no, I, I think I'm going with the right fit. And whether that's a junior high coach, a high school coach, an AAU coach, a college, a pro, I'm going with the right fit. To making sure that uh, um, again chemistry and uh, he fits in with what our vision is so I think that's really really important and whether it's a 20-year vet or a two-year vet it doesn't matter I'm going with someone who can get the job done bottom line in all in all areas player that reaction where they talk about you introducing to them and how they react you know we, we sent a text out to the uh, guys yesterday uh, we will have a team meeting on Sunday because everyone will be reporting here for summer one, which starts June 6th. And I'll formally introduce them then, but um, all the players are really excited. And again, every one of our guys, whether it's going to happen or not, want to play at that next level. And there's no better opportunity to, to get that from, from a guy that's been there, both as a player and as a coach. Uh, and that just carries that extra weight of, uh, of instant credibility right away. So uh, the guys are excited. And obviously, per the rules, he can't start work with them until until the first day of fall classes, but he can build relationships with them through the summer months. Did Rick Jones Jackson say anything? I mean, he, he's helped Conley and Vasquez immensely. Well, did Joe have any reaction? You know, I, I, and I'm glad you brought that up, Dave. Um, uh, Joe and Antonio were really excited. Joe Jackson, Antonio, and Bart were really excited about Damon being here. But because you're right, he did a lot with Vasque Vasquez and, and Conley. But let me tell you this, because I did, did the research and the homework. And from talking to a lot of people at that, with the organization, he was heavily involved with, with Zach Randolph. He was heavily involved with, with different guys on the team. So it wasn't just the guards, even though Damon played the guards. But it's like if you're a coach, you're a coach. You've got to be able to coach guards. Even though if you've played guard, you still got to be able to deal with the bigs. So he's dealt in all areas. And as I've always said, one of the things that, that helped me the most when I was at Arizona with Lute Olson. I never got to do anything with the guards. It was always with the bigs because he always said a lot of times coaches who have played guard or coaches who have been big guys never had to, you know, intersect to the other part of the floor. And, uh, and, and so the experience that I had to do is dealing with the bigs, and that's the same thing with Damon. He's been able to do multidimensional of not only just dealing with the guards, but he's done a lot with the forwards and the, and the, and the big guys, and I think that's important too. So if you're a coach, you're able to coach at all areas of the floor, and um, but obviously for for the immediate term for those for those guards and guys like Antonio and Joe, it's it's uh, they're especially excited. Recruiting wise, I'm sure it certainly doesn't hurt to have an NBA former NBA Rookie of the Year getting into someone's house and sitting down with the player. Well, you know that's the whole thing. I mean, every guy that we recruit, I mean, their goal is to play in the NBA. Those are the facts. They want to be at the highest level, and. Um, Will they get there? I mean, it's so hard to get there. I mean, it's nearly impossible. Um, so uh, what it does, though, is it gives an opportunity for a guy that's been there to, to say, hey, this is what it takes to get there. This is how hard it is to, gonna, to, to be there. And um, if you're going to want to get to this level, this is what you're going to have to do, X, Y, and Z. And uh, uh, you know, the other thing about Damon is he knows what I want to run. He knows what I like to run. He knows the way I like to play. 
um, and uh, and it's just a good fit. So, you know, I think it's again brings instant credibility, and he really fits in well with what we're looking for. And with uh, Jack Murphy and with Damon, it's a, it's a, it's a very very strong combination. Obviously, there's now a pretty heavy NBA influence on your staff. I mean, how are you able to sell the program to, to guys from pro organizations? How do you do that? Well, um, one thing about me is I, I want to be unconventional and think outside the box, even though I'm very, uh, um, you know, non-impulsive and conservative in a lot of areas. Uh, I am not, I'm going to think outside the box and be unconventional. So hiring Frank with our strength and conditioning, as he likes to say, he's a life changer. He does, he does not like me using the word uh, strength and conditioning coach. He wants to be called a life changer. So um, uh, that's why you the term of Frank. And he doesn't want to ever be used by his last name. He just wants to be called Frank. Um, and then hiring Damon. It's outside the box. And um, so I, I got no problem with that, of being an outside the box guy. And uh, um, again, we're all going to have the same vision of making these student athletes the best they can be on and off the court having a goal of trying to win the national title and, uh, and making sure that Tiger Nation is proud of their program on and off the court every single day. That's important to me. That's my number one priority is making sure that, uh, that everyone is proud of their program. I mean, I, I take it personally, extremely personally, uh, that, uh, uh, that the image of the program uh, is, is at a high level on and off the court. That is, that is critical to me. I uh, spend a lot of time uh, uh, focusing on that. You do the very best you can. There is no 100% full, you know, safe proof on that, but uh, uh, the staff, guys like Jack and Damon and Frank, they understand that's important to me. Eric Sebastian, our director of basketball, those people like that, they understand that's important to me, so they continue to carry that vision. Timetable on the next assistant, I guess we should expect outside the box. You can expect outside the box, and where I go, I don't know yet. Um, it could be it could be the day before classes start. Um, I, I don't know, and uh, but whoever you hire will be the right fit to go along with Jack, go along with Damon, you know Eric Sebastian, our director of basketball, uh, will will fit in. I mean, look look at even the talking about NBA influence. Our trainer Brad Anderson, he was an NBA trainer, did stuff with the uh, he was in the NBA for many years and also did stuff with the NFL. So. Um, um, in the end, we do have a lot of pro influences, which I think's which I think's important. Whether it's Eric Sebastian, our director of basketball, who's with the Nuggets for for many many years, Jack Murphy, Damon, Frank, Brad, those things are important to me. So I could even go that avenue, but I don't know Jason on exactly which direction I'm going to go with that. But uh, we'll make the right hire. What's the latest date you could do that second coach? I don't even have to hire anyone, so I can wait until I don't. I I'm, there is no timetable. So I could wait till the day before season starts. I could wait till a whole year from now. There is no exact timetable. Uh, I will hire somebody, but uh, when that will be, I don't know. Um, and um, it will take me some time to formulate, to ask everyone's opinion on staff, and then decide who's the right fit. Thanks, Coach. Okay. Thanks, Coach. We'll switch out. Get Damon up there.